A lunar eclipse is an eerie but majestic sight that showcases the motion of the solar system on a truly grand scale. Look up at the moon at certain times of year and you'll be able to see the lunar disk fade from its familiar white to a rusty red. It's an incredible experience, one that has led many to refer to a lunar eclipse as a blood moon. Whether there's a lunar eclipse tonight or you're planning for the future, join us as we take a look at what lunar eclipses are, why they happen, and all you need to know to observe one yourself. For more stargazing advice, be sure to like our channel, hit that subscribe button, and visit skyatnightmagazine.com. First up, why do lunar eclipses happen? A lunar eclipse occurs when the Sun, Earth and Moon are perfectly aligned, with Earth in the middle. When this happens, Earth's shadow is cast on the Moon, causing a lunar eclipse. You might expect this to mean there should be an eclipse every time the Moon is full. However, the Moon's orbit is slightly tilted, meaning it sometimes passes above or below Earth's shadow. When the Moon does pass through, though, Earth's shadow blocks some of the sunlight on its way to the Moon, so that only light that's been bent, or refracted, by our atmosphere reaches the lunar surface. Because the Sun is much bigger than Earth, our planet's shadow gets split into two parts, a dark region called the Umbra, and a lighter outer ring called the Penumbra. The Penumbra is only partially shaded from the Sun, so when it's in this region, the Moon simply appears darker than it normally would. In the Umbra region, there is no direct sunlight. A lunar eclipse begins in earnest when the Moon starts to move into this central Umbra region. Its surface darkens and it takes on its signature red colour. This colour change happens because Earth's atmosphere filters out most of the blue light, but leaves the red, illuminating the Moon with a rusty red light. Different types of eclipse. There are three types of lunar eclipse. Penumbral, partial, total. A penumbral eclipse occurs when the Moon only passes through the lighter outer region of Earth's shadow, the penumbra. As sunlight is still reaching the surface of the Moon, you only see a slight dimming. A partial lunar eclipse occurs when the Moon begins passing through the umbra, but never completely enters the region. Part of the Moon in the umbra will appear much darker, and could even begin to take on its signature red hue, whilst the other side remains fully illuminated. However, it's only when the Moon completely enters into the Umbra that we get a total lunar eclipse, and the Moon's entire face is transformed. Totality can last anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours, giving you lots of time to take in the sight. How to observe an eclipse The beauty of a lunar eclipse is that it is visible wherever you are on the night side of Earth, and you don't need any special equipment to see one. Unlike during a solar eclipse, there's no danger in viewing a lunar eclipse with the naked eye. All you need to know is when and where the next one will happen. We keep a list of all the upcoming lunar and solar eclipses on our website, skyatnightmagazine.com, and you can find a link down in the notes below. The day before a lunar eclipse is due to begin, be sure to check the weather forecast. Don't be put off if the weather isn't perfect. The moon is very large and bright, and eclipses last for several hours, meaning that even if clouds are forecast, there's a chance you'll be able to see something through a break in the clouds. When the time arises, head outside. Remember to wrap up warm, especially if you're planning on watching the eclipse from the beginning of its partial phase right through to the end. Even eclipsed, the moon should be easily visible with the naked eye. While you're out, take a moment to look at the rest of the sky. You might not have realised how bright a full moon can be. It lights up the sky around it with a blue haze, out of which only the brightest stars are visible. During a total lunar eclipse, the darker moon means that the fainter stars can come out, and we see the eerie sight of a deep red moon surrounded by twinkling stars. A lunar eclipse can transform some of the Moon's most familiar features, and you can use a pair of binoculars or a telescope if you want to get a closer look. It's also a spectacular photo opportunity, and you can capture the Moon with a DSLR camera. The blood-red lunar face is a striking image on its own, or you can take images throughout the night to create a timeline of the event. If there's a lunar eclipse coming up in your neck of the woods, hopefully we've shown you just how magical these events can be. For more stargazing tips and advice, be sure to hit the like button below, subscribe to our channel, and visit skyatnightmagazine.com for the latest astronomy news. From all of us here at BBC Sky at Night magazine, thank you for watching.